So God responds to this question we looked at yesterday morning, the question about fasting, with a pretty stern rebuke. Let's hear it. It's Zechariah chapter 7, verses 4 to 7. Then the word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, Say to all the people of the land and to the priests, When you fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh months during those seventy years, did you really fast for me? For me? When you eat and when you drink, do you not eat and drink for yourselves? Should you not have obeyed the words which the Lord proclaimed throughout the former prophets when Jerusalem and the cities around it were inhabited and prosperous and the south and the lowland were inhabited? So we noticed before that many among God's people had compromised their faith. And now God asked them about their sincerity. You know, it's pretty easy for things to just degenerate, you know. When everybody's doing the same certain thing, you tend to do the same thing. And it's not done with heart, it's not done with feeling, it's not done with conscience, it's, it's just done because others are doing it and we do it without the right motivation. People with other things on their mind are just simply going along with what the crowd's doing. Have you got a lot of other things on your mind? Well then you and I are kind of in the same risk spot, aren't we? How often we do things through self-interest. You know, maybe they look kind of pious on the outside, but inside a lot of times our heart just isn't really there. We're just not attentive to the Lord. We shouldn't fast to try to impress God or to impress other people. God is not impressed by our little show. When he's imposed a punishment like the 70-year exile, uh, that should be a signal to us that there is something to be sad about. There is something to be mournful about and repentant about. And so today, though, the, there's not so much of that today. When he's imposed a punishment like, you know, the 70-year exile, yeah, we should feel sad. God's people there should have felt sad. They should have felt repentant. They should have realized they've done something wrong. But today we're in this uh, narcissistic line, you know. It's all about me. It's all about me. Um, the feeling, the feeling you would, the culture would have you to think is about you. It's not about somebody else. It's not about how you might have harmed somebody else. It's kind of like, well, it's about you getting your stuff, you know, with all the salt and the fat and the sugar, whatever it is. It's that kind of a spirit. It's about me, me, me. And it's hard to be repentant when you're thinking about me, me, me. God is ready to help us when we turn to him, but maybe we don't know too well how to turn to him. But when we read in the Bible, we find out that the first thing is what God wants. The first thing. Not what we want, it's what he wants. He didn't make us for creaturely self-indulgence. He made us for other love and to be generous and kind and giving toward other people. And that's something we don't learn too much from adventure flicks or from too many videos. Let's just be honest with ourselves. But we can learn it from the Bible. That's fact, probably the only place we'll learn it. So we can, what we can do is renew our determination that we'll be a people of the book. And that's the way to go through these end times, all the challenges. That's the way to go through it straight if we go to the Bible and get our marching instructions there. That's what Zacharias people needed. And that's what we need and God will help us. See you tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.